Hi and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Shark Spartan GT Carbon Helmet which is their new for 2020 premium sports touring helmet and this helmet costs £409.99p in the plain carbon graphic that you see here or it's an additional £60 for one that's got multiple colours layered over the top. <laughs> The Spartan itself has been around for around five years now and Shark have added this GT model for a little bit more distance capability. The Spartan itself continues and as well as this GT Carbon, there's also a straight GT where the shell is made from multi-axial fibreglass. This one is made from a mixture of multi-axial fibreglass and also carbon fibre and then it has this layer of decorative carbon fibre over the top. The carbon one here is lighter than the straight GT this one weighs in at 14, 16 grams on our scale, so it's a genuine weight, where the normal fiberglass helmet is 15, 66. Might not sound a lot, 150 grams, but that's about 10%, and we think that's quite a significant difference that you will feel while you're riding. The main visual differences from the normal Spartan through to the GT model, aerodynamic spoilers on the back here. They've also upgraded the visor to give that a bit more appeal than the Spartan, and the ventilation system throughout is stronger as well as a beefed up interior that's much more suited to touring than the original Spartan. Those ventilation upgrades, a big part of that is this easy slide top vent that works in combination with channels in the EPS to drag a really good amount of air across the top of the head. I've covered almost a thousand miles in this helmet and found that when that's open you can really hear the wind coming in and you can feel it. As well as pulling air into the interior of the helmet to bring some fresh air in for the rider, this vent also brings a certain amount onto the inner surface of the visor to help clear it of any fog. That's not quite so crucial with this visor because it's pinlock protected, it's max vision and it's a pinlock 70. It now releases with a push tab there and a central lift and lock tab. So as well as lifting it, that tab with an extra push locks that and holds it down in place to stop any wind flow getting underneath and lifting that inadvertently. They've also introduced something that they've used before on the Race R Pro, which is this tab here to give a more secure mounting for the visor and also to help that visor be held open in an intermediate position. On top of that, the visor now rotates in 14 graduated steps from top to finish. So it's much easier to keep the visor open by a small amount to bring some airflow through to make it more comfortable while you're riding. Changing this visor is really simple. Swing this tab around until it releases the tension and pull it away. And refitting, simple slot into position, push the tab back in and spin it around to meet with the side plate. Shark have kept the shark skin concept, as they call it, which comes from the original Spartan, where you've, you can see a textured pattern on this mounting for the visor. What that does, they say, is it breaks up the air to keep it nice and quiet around the helmet. So it's all part of keeping that ride quiet, which is obviously crucial on a GT helmet. In the thousand miles that I've done, I've been quite happy with the noise on this helmet. If the vents are open, you can hear the wind rush coming in. But really, this, is, this has been pretty quiet. All good sports touring helmets obviously have an internal sun visor, so the Shark is no different. It's a top mounted slide switch, which brings down a good amount of coverage, which reaches down to the front of the breath guard here. Been impressed with that. What I would say is that it's not anti-fog and on a helmet that costs 400 pounds, I think that's something that Shark need to look at at their next upgrade. There are helmets that cost less than half that, which come with an anti-fog sun visor. So the final big upgrade for this helmet compared to the straight Spartan is the lining. So the lining is an Alveotech lining, which is antimicrobial to stop it getting stinky after long days in the saddle. It also helps to avoid moisture buildup. My experience again is that I've worn this in some really high temperatures up to sort of 30 degrees like we would get in the UK on a really warm summer's day. And it's been very, very comfortable, really plush, supportive, but also it has dried quite quickly. On top of that, Shark have introduced emergency cheek pads to this. Sometimes that's a difficult piece of technology to talk about, but the idea of that is that if you do have an accident, 
it means that paramedics can remove the cheek pads while you're still wearing the helmet, which makes it much easier for them to take it off without causing you any further injury. Pulling this neck roll away also reveals at the back accommodation for the battery to power a shark tooth, Bluetooth intercom system. So again, touring capability on the helmet is strong. So that's the Shark Spartan GT Carbon. If you have any questions about this helmet, please pop them in the comments section below and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as we can about that. And thanks very much for watching.